Luke French from GSL. Um, come out today to Kenda, see how we go. It was sort of the, uh, probably the fourth time we've been here. Um, we do a bit of this and a bit of diesel salt. Um, yeah, that's sort of where the car started. Um, we went from just street car that I drive every day to work to you know, progressively making it quicker and quicker and quicker to the point where, yeah, just can't drive it on the street. The, it got its name because it's called Frankie Mule, so we originally just called it the Mule. Um, and then just over progression and changing all the gear on it, um, different parts, and, and that is sort of where it got Frankie Mule from. So the engine's pretty much uh, a stock motor, um, other than the rods and the, and the perimeter rings. Um, we did have a stock motor in it. Uh, we, we melted that one at Power Cruise, so it runs a lot of nitrous um, to keep it cold. So we, uh, the bottle got hot at uh, one of the power cruises we went to. Nitrous didn't go in and melted the first motor. So, um, so we put perimeter rings in and, uh, and rods, and that's pretty much it. It runs standard cam. Uh, the injectors are pretty much stock, different caps on them, so they're 200 over. Boost wise, it runs uh, compound turbo. So we've got a little turbo to get the party started. So we can't get the big 88 going with um, with a little 4.5 litre diesel. So uh, we, we have a smaller turbo. And once it gets the party started, then it pretty much moves out of the way and the 88 takes over. Um, it runs 70 PSI. We run that through our dry ice, PWR dry ice intercooler. And then from there, it goes into the motor um, with, uh, depending on, on the track conditions, you could be anywhere from 400 to 700 horsepower of nitrous um, but like I said we use that for cooling so you do get extra power out of it but a lot of that's just for cooling. When we started out it had you know we were sort of 15 seconds um, still had the front diff in it still had a, a lot of gear like pretty much a just a running Land Cruiser with a lot more power um, and then from there as we progressively got faster you know weight's a pretty big killer to, to a quick time while you're out the strip so we ripped out the front diff it's got a strut front end in it now, uh, running sand tough struts, uh, full Gazard rear end in it. Um, yeah, obviously runs a nine inch. Um, we did have a carbon fibre tail shaft until I launched that at Sydney. Um, but yeah, it runs a turbo 400, um, TCE converter. But yeah, M150 controls pretty much everything on the car, as well as data logging. <laughs> Let's move up, Mark City! 